York is really special because there's so much to see. I've always wanted to live here and I'm so glad to be, be able to do it now, to be here with my family. But I guess these are kind of a respite, these paintings. They don't reflect being in New York. You know, I feel in a way my studio is a, a big aquarium and I'm in this room all day long, all by myself, working on the things that I love. So when I was expecting my daughter, I was looking for a metaphor that would be, would signify something fresh and clean and pure. And of course, water is a perfect way to do that. So I was working with figures um, swimming in the water in sort of states of being like uh, calmness and being one with their environment and uh, sort of exploring how they were feeling. Another interesting thing about the water for me was exploring color and light and form and changing the colors of, color of the water to red, and yellow, green. I think that the focus of the paintings tends to be where the body and the surface connect. the surface of the water becomes like a, like a ceiling that's mirrored and it reflects what's underneath the surface. And then you get some glimpses of what's above the surface. And I really like the way that the uh, reflections in the water become almost psychedelic. The people in the paintings are often my family members. A couple of years ago, uh, we discovered this cave in Mexico that had an underwater pool. It was very dark, and the, once you entered the water, the, it was clear as air. It was just perfectly crystal clear and they, there was no gravity, and uh, they just were navigating through, through water. And this was just the perfect opportunity for me to, to work with the figure. For many years, I worked with single figures in the water. But I was having trouble figuring out how to use multiple figures because if they're nude, you try to figure out as the viewer, is it, a, is it a good relationship? Is there struggle and conflict? What's happening? But as soon as you put clothes on people, <laughs> it's a lot easier. And in a way, just down the street is the Botanical Garden, which has a beautiful uh, Japanese garden with Koi, and uh, it's very, it's, it's a lot like these, the, the pond is a lot like these paintings in a way because it's, a, it's very dark, dramatic, there are elements of color that, that reflect in the water, and, uh, and it's, it's like an oasis from the city. For many years I worked on paintings where the, the figures were struggling and uh, trying to 
fighting to breathe or um, showing uh, angst in some way. But frankly, at this stage in my life, I'm quite happy. And if, if I were to identify a, a universal theme in the work, I think it would be about human beings and their relationship to their environment.